I'm Les Chapata. I'm a 28-year-old farmer based in Gweru, Midlands. I'm into horticulture and livestock production. And our farm is located about 15 kilometers away from Gweru CBD along Vuma Road. Since I started being hands-on at the farm, uh, I've had some highs and some lows. Last year, I did potatoes for the first time. It was my first attempt at uh, producing potatoes and we managed to harvest around 1.2 tons, which is more or less 80 pockets. And it was quite satisfying given that it was my first time doing potatoes. The biggest challenges that we are facing here is uh, access to funding, uh, lack of capital for us to be able to really scale up our production. So far it has been good, but we want to go to that next level, that next step and that requires uh, funding. So far we've been funding ourselves from the money, for instance, money from one greenhouse can fund a project, the next project. I've also delved into carrots and by year and last year I had supplied over two tons of carrots to the Gweru local market. And at the back end of last year, following the manner in which the Pumvuza program was being promoted by the government and by Dr. John Basera in particular, I decided to give it a go and I've been sharing my experiences on Twitter. And I'm glad to announce that uh, we managed to harvest around 11 tons on that one hectare we had allocated for Pumvudza. We are also into tomato production. We started off with open field tomatoes. We had been having good harvest up until 2019 when we faced our biggest challenge yet. That's when we were hit by frost. You know how Gweru winters can be harsh. We were hit by frost and we suffered unimaginable losses during that year. That's when we decided to venture into greenhouse farming. We started off with one greenhouse. We constructed one greenhouse. We hired someone to construct that greenhouse for us and we put tomatoes there. 580 plants, uh, the Trinity variety. And with that one greenhouse, we had quite a success because we managed to harvest over one and a half tons of tomatoes. And with the money from that first greenhouse, we managed to construct uh, three more greenhouses. But now with those three greenhouses, we sourced the materials ourselves because we had realized that the first greenhouse was quite costly to construct. So we sourced the materials ourselves. We found where we could get the cheapest plastics, where we could get the cheapest treated poles, where we could get the cheapest drip lines, and we did it by ourselves. We constructed three more greenhouses and we managed to cut costs significantly because we only constructed the greenhouses with our own employees. I would encourage farmers, particularly those with low capital, to go this route, this DIY route, to do it for themselves, to construct greenhouses for themselves, because it is financially rewarding, particularly in areas such as Gweru, where the winters are harsh, and soon after winter, we experience rainfall. So open field farming, tomato farming in Gweru, is not really reliable, because you are bound to encounter losses. So I would encourage farmers to try out greenhouse farming, especially when doing tomatoes. The demand for tomatoes in Gweru is quite high. So now that we're in winter, we have to come up with innovative ways to avoid being hit by frost or to avoid succumbing to the harsh cold winters of Gweru. So we made this makeshift. I don't know what I would call it. I wouldn't call it a greenhouse, but it's it's quite useful in preventing these tomatoes from being hit by frost. As you can see, this black plastic, we constructed this by ourselves as well. Uh, so we now have more tomatoes that are up and coming. These are now six weeks old after transplanting. So they are coming up quite nicely. And so far, we've managed to avoid being hit by the cold weather. I would say the factors that have made us successful so far are good agronomic practices, 
you should always make sure that you follow the spraying programs for each crop you you follow them religiously you look after your plants you, you should always be there you should be hands on uh, doing what you love that way you always be successful of course some people try to portray farming as a venture that is very little losses that is always uh, financially rewarding but that is not always the case uh, you will find that many farmers i would say i would actually say almost every farmer is gone through difficult patches but the key thing is to make the most of what you have uh, start small and you can grow from there there's so much you can do in farming you can even be involved in farming even if you don't have a piece of land you can get into partnerships you can find someone who wants to lease their land to you you can also there's so much you can do within the value chain in agriculture you can also be involved in even developing applications that can help farmers reach the market or that can help the market reach the farmers there's so much you can do in agriculture but with whatever you decide on doing just start small and learn from there